Today we're going to talk about smart components for your planting plants inside SketchUp and Layout. My name is Katarina and I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video it's dedicated to creating a smart component, especially for your planting plants if you're doing them inside SketchUp and Layout. So. In this channel, we talk a lot about programs like Lumion, Twin Motion, some SketchUp videos as well that I want to talk more in the um, coming future. Um, really, I want to explore more SketchUp because it's the most important, in my view, the most important software for any garden designer or a landscaper. It's the most affordable, it's the most versatile, and it's the most um, with the easier learning curve, let's say, uh, if you are just starting out. So it can get quite complex, especially when uh, it becomes about topography and everything related to working uh, and mod mod modeling the land, let's say. But it's a really easy, really, um, a really easy program to start with, okay? And normally I really talk about creating 3D models inside SketchUp and that's why, that's what I use SketchUp for. So um, it's one of the, 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 the elements that I use SketchUp for is to create a 3D model that I can import being in Twinmotion or in Lumion to work the structures, to work with the plantings and the textures and materials. But what I always use um, SketchUp for as well, it's creating the planting plants and the general plans for uh, my to present after in a portfolio in a PDF uh, portfolio to my client. So something like like this, for example, let me just show you where I say the materials and the quantities, etc. Okay, but today I want to talk about the planting plan, and this is what we actually going to to talk a little bit. I have a workshop on that. If you're interested, let's um, have, um, I have the link in the description of this video. Sorry, <laughs> my words are messing up. Um, and uh, if you want to explore that, um, you can just go and uh, click in the link and check it out. Uh, so what I like to do, it's for example, in here, this is a bit messed up. You can, of course, this you can, uh, this is for demonstration purposes. You can always go and uh, create your own models. What I like to do is I've imported, and I teach that on the workshop, uh, just importing um, some templates, some 2D templates. So it's all always on 2D. That's uh, what I'm working here. Uh, I'm not using the 3D uh, element of SketchUp, but what I basically do is I and you cre create a circle and upload an image inside, just use circles and colors, for example. You do whatever you would do, okay? For example, let me just go here. I can create a circle. Sorry. You can just go here, create a circle, okay? And in here, I'll add a color, for example, and after, so it's messing with my, make a component, okay? So you can start doing like that and you just create your component, your plant, okay? Uh, you give it a name, you give it a, a scale, okay? You, you, you basically work out the diameter of the plant, how you want to show them the plants in your planting plan, how mature you want them, and just check out the how, how big is that is that uh, plant, okay? So for example here, uh, this one is something like um, 50 centimeters more or less, okay? Just checking this 50 centimeters diameter, okay? Now let's check out, let's explore a little bit, and that's what I was talking about today, creating a smart component that you can use easily and time and time again, creating your collection, your library of plants that you can use them in all your projects. So you do this once and you use them in all your planting plants, your project, okay? The most important thing is uh, start with the main plants you use the most, okay? Um, and do this in a bit of a free time uh, because, uh, you know, when you're busy at work, you just want to hurry up and you're not going to have time to do this. But choose the plants you normally work. 
um, have the scale and the size of the plant, uh, you know, if you know more or less already the scale of the plant, just do it. But if not, just go and research about it. And uh, what you want to look, um, the, the, the design part, what you want, you want a lot of colors, you don't want colors, you just want textures. You can even put images inside this. For example, you create a circle, you uploaded an image of the actual plant and you can have really photorealistic planting plants. So we teach that it in a workshop as well. But the most important thing is create your own library. So, for example, when you have uh, when you just create a component, um, you have it here after in your components and you can just every time you click in the model, for example, you can just go. Imagine that I just uh, um, I've just done this component. You can just go save as and after um, you go and search for the specific uh, area that you have your plant collection so you create a folder in your pc just for your plant collection so as you can see here this is already my plants inside so this is plants i've already used every time i have a new one i do a new um, a new component uh, with the scale with the color just ma ma make sure that you do them all different okay so that's easy in terms of visuals um, and yeah and just give it the the proper name just give it the the the, the latin name that's how i work and uh, and that, and you can have always in your uh, uh default um folder so every time i come here for example i go here and i have my folder okay if it does the folder doesn't appear here you just come here and open or create a local collection okay if you come open you just go and search for that folder to appear okay and you select folder and is here with all my plants as you can see so this is the, all the plants i already have in my folder so i can easily use them inside uh, uh, inside sketchup as you can see here the scale is more or less sometimes for some reason um it changes uh, i don't know if it has to do with the model info but the scales they look a bit messed up with my plants so now just make sure that scale is properly uh, and what's the advantages of using smart components? Not only you have um, quite a lot of information uh, that I'm going to show you in a bit, uh, as well as you can generate reports, and I teach you this in the workshop, generate reports inside SketchUp with information, not only the name, you can have size, you can have prices, you can have description in terms of maintenance of the plant, links where to purchase or see the, the, the plant list. So you have a lot of things that you can start thinking how you can work this out, especially when working with layout as well. So imagine that you have not only the planting plan and you can easily generate a report to have an Excel table, for example, with all the information of maintenance of that plant uh, so you can quickly uh, easy and uh, easy give it to your client just you know for their maintenance uh, it's a lot of a lot of things that we can really explore inside sketchup really cool stuff uh, let me just go here for example you have this alien gladiator and I've, I have here, as you can see, if you don't see, if you just see like this window, for example, you go here uh, down and I have the price. Uh, imagine that you want to generate just an Excel table. I'm just going to show you the generate report just for you to see. It's going to appear a lot of other components for these things, but uh, uh, don't worry about it. I'm just going to add it. So basically, I have the definition name. Uh, I want the identity description and that's going to give me... Uh, some information I've added when I've done that uh, that uh, that uh, more that comp specific component and I want the price and the size I'm just going to run for you so you can just uh, do the so as you can see here this is the example I want to show you okay and you have the price in euros you have the size you have the the plant the quantity how many times it appears on the model okay that's really important you have a planting plan you easily can have all your plants so just ignore this ones here down and i have here a description i've added from the rhs uh, plant uh, finder website um so let's create one just really quickly it's just so you can figure it out i'm just going to copy this one of these first now i'm just going to now come here and copy. Uh, I'll just actually change the color. 
So I'm just going to quickly change the color just to be a bit different from the other ones I already using. Okay. So I have here and now uh, this is a new shape. So I'm going to create a new component. I just right click and make component. So this is what I'm looking for. So this is really important. So I'm going to give it the definition is going to be the name. Okay. So imagine that uh, this plant, let me just go here and we're just going to explore something. Um, so if you go to the RHS, I'm going to uh, put the link of the uh, in the description of this video for the RHS as well. Uh, and I'm just going to put maybe a shrub. Let's go and, and look for some shrubbery. Some oh, oh, interesting. And this is just completely random, it has nothing to do now with uh, with uh, with uh, with um, that specific project what i really want to uh, to give it as an example is uh, what you the information you can use there in your sketchup so this is the name of the plant i want okay sorry for some reason didn't do it control c control v and some description Okay, I love the RHS website because they always have here a little introduction. You can edit in your own words, of course. Um, but you know, this is just an, an, an example uh, in your own words, in your own language. Always face camera. Okay, that's important. Show shadows. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to do it. Uh, if you want already, for example, if you have a specific garden center or where you purchase your plants, a producer, uh, you can already have the price. In here, uh, let me just go buy this price. I'm going to put 22.99 um, but this is some information that you can share with your client it can be your purchasing price uh, so imagine that it's just for you and you just want to know after in the end of your planting plant the cost of all the plants you can easily do them here because you have the quantity you have the price per plant and you have this all that generated report goes to an excel table okay so that's pretty cool you have size and in here in size for example i do uh, what's the size of a uh, vase that i've purchased i can put a five liter vase for example um, the definition i'm going to put the link because maybe i want to show my client so we can come here and see more information about that plant and RHS is really a good source uh, for this type of, of uh, information. And in here I put the filter and the fine. Uh, just not going to worry about that now. Um, so yeah, this is how I'm going to create. So I have a new component, a new smart plant, uh, plant that I can use uh, in my all my future models, all my planting plants in the in the in the future projects. Okay, uh, you can just come. Control C, Control V, and I have a new one. Okay, so every time I select one, it says components twin model. I have here the definition plus that information. Uh, if I go now to my um, to my um, components, the ones I, I have in the model, I'm just going to search for that one. So I find your component, and what you do now here is you save as and you save it in your default library and you have now a component, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you, you can see here I already changed scale, but uh, let me just show you something because imagine that you have quite a few plants in your planting plan uh, and I can show you here, for example, with this one, this is a uh, Santolina, uh, but I'm thinking this scale is not right uh, in my project. Uh, Santolinas are normally bigger. For some reason, let's just uh, make that scenario. I can just double click, select and change it and it will change the scale all at once of all the plants I have in my planting plan, as you can see. Okay, so it's really important. You can really easily see the scale of the plant. Um, it, it just depends on how you want to show them, uh, how mature you want to show them. For example, uh, let's go, just go here. Uh, this uh, is in your RHS uh, file and you have here the ultimate spread is 2.5 to 4 meters. So clearly uh, what we had in the beginning was too small. But as you can see, you can easily come here. Imagine that, okay, this is more or less what? One meter, one meter is something. I need to double that just to make it a bit more realistic. So I'm just going to scale and just put twice 
and that's it that's so the size of my shrub okay um this is just all depends what, how you want to show to your clients so as you can see this is really interesting stuff you can do in sketchup uh with this smart components information so you can for example use if you use sketchup for your 3ds as well with 3d plants just even if it's an important plant uh, from the 3d warehouse you can copy into your model import it into your model and just copy that component and create as a new component with all this information I've shown you, okay? And you do this once, you save it in your folder, a specific folder for your plants, for example, and you can do this, for example, with furniture. If using a, um, some furniture, some brand uh, known that, that you're gonna suggest to your client, you can add price, you can add links for the brand, for example. So it's really easy after to work out in layout all this information by generating a new report and importing it into layout, okay? One quick thing I want to show you, and if you uh, want to see this in your, in your, um, in the, in the workshop, if you're curious about this, when you inside layout, when you import a model, a planting plan, like we have that one inside layout, okay? When you, for example, when you adding a label to your plant, check this out i'm going to add a label and this plant is asking me for if i want that definition and if i had a description here it will ask me if i want the description so i can have the definition in this case it's just the name of the plant just for something i did in sketchup i didn't do nothing at all regarding the label of that item here in layout so it's really smart and you can see that all the the the, the way you can work between sketchup and layout is really cool using this smart components okay so as you can see here i'm not going to do nothing i'm just going to double click and straight away he identifies me this as a Knifofia that I give the name in from my uh, to SketchUp uh, plant library inside uh, SketchUp. Okay, so that's really cool, really easy way after to just create some nice planting plants. Okay, and in here, of course, if I had, I didn't do any information, specific information, but I will come here and I, uh, you can add uh, different stuff, uh, different information, but in here you could add the description, etc., price, etc., what you want to show here in your planting plan. I hope you enjoy it and explore a little bit if you have time and if you're interested, of course, the workshop I have about this. See you guys in the next one.